the, the diets that these huge corporations are making have been around for for decades and decades and decades. They have something to say. They have to be able so to substantiate selling this billion dollar industry of these ancient diets, really, whose ingredient panels are incredibly archaic and we know better than to feed this. But we're still sure. marketing it and we're still feeding it, therefore they still have to substantiate it. It becomes pretty painful to have to talk about it. I mean, it's when, so they're not talking about it. They, they have research, they have old research substantiating what they want clients and veterinarians to believe. And as new research is coming about, they are making new diets. All of these big five corporations are making yeah. grain-free diets, natural diets. They've eliminated the ethoxyquin. Did they make a big announcement as to why they eliminated ethoxyquin? Huh. No. They couldn't that because mean, then it would that say that they were doing it wrong. That's right. right. So they have to acknowledge that there's a problem. Did they make, did they, when, when these big five companies released grain-free foods, have they now justified why they put grain in their food for the last 85 years? Of course and not. In fact, they're acting like, if you really want a grain-free food, we're going to provide the best one. That's right. That's what we're going to do. Yep. Really? And they haven't justified why they've included carbohydrates and unnecessary grains for mm -hmm. For the previous diets, they've just released new diets that meet a market niche that they'd like to provide for. So they're not justifying why they have included the ingredient panel that they did before, nor are they justifying why they've released brand new diets, which are 180 degrees different from the diets that they released previously. They've just released one of everything.